Hello my friends. To help finish and make my wine sparkle, I've ordered a wine filter. And here it is. Here we have a package from Canada. Let's see what's in it. A box within a box. Filters, filter pads, hoses, and that handle. There you have it. That's the filter pump we've been waiting for. Let's put it together and see how she works. This is a Buon Vino Super Jet wine filter. And there's two hoses. This one with the cup on it is the intake. This will go into the carboy that you're going to filter. And this is the intake here. So there's it's equipped with these clips and we'll need that on the hose that goes on there then this needs to be pushed. I'll have to get pliers to give it a, its last push and here is the uh, one that goes into the bottle that you're filling and we want the longer one connected here. This is the outflow of the filter. And the same thing with this one. Okay. Now we're just about ready to filter some wine. Here you can see the filter pads for the wine filter. And there's three pads in a package. You have to use all three when you're filtering. And you can see here only my Canadian friends would call these filters tampons. So anyway. There's a specific way to put them in. They mount into this frame and this will hold all three of them. And that's secured with this locking plate. And you see right here there's a pressure gauge. This gauge will indicate the pressure at which uh, the pump is operating at. And when the pressure dial or gauge reaches between 18 to 20 psi that's given you an indication that the filter pads are getting pretty well blocked and that it's time to change the filter pads. Um, the filter sizes they range from a one through a number three. One and two are um, more coarse. Number three is a finishing filter. Number one is the coarsest. Number two is the one that I will be using. And uh, number three removes almost all of the fine particles, including it'll remove about 80% of the yeast in the wine, which I don't want to take it that far because that can uh, do a substantial change in the, the flavor of the wines. The filter pads, uh, before you use them, you want to soak the pads in water for about a minute, make sure both sides are saturated. And uh, then when you're running the, the filter pump, um, the first liquid that will come out of the outtake will be the water that was saturated into the pads. You want to discard this before you start collecting the wine. Here is some of the wine that I have to filter. 
And when you're going to filter, it's recommended that you pump from carboy to carboy. So I have empty carboys here. I'll start transferring and then cleaning and sanitizing the, the bottles. And before you put your wine into the bottles and cork them, uh, you should let the, the wine uh, set for at least 24 hours uh, so that uh, the agitated wine will settle and then it should be able to be bottled that way. More wine to be filtered. This wine I believe I'm going to rack it because I see sediment on the bottom. I'll rack it first and then I'll run it through the filter. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.